And while the controversy over those sudden and mysterious lane closures around the George Washington Bridge back in September claimed a casualty today, somebody who is reported to be very close to Governor Christie. His name is David Wildstein. He's the director of interstate projects at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Reports indicate Wildstein was hired for that job with the governor's consent. Wildstein submitted his letter of resignation today saying that he had planned to leave next year, but he will leave instead on January 1st because, in his words, the Fort Lee issue has become a distraction. But Wildstein didn't say what, if any, role he may have played in those lane closures. Governor Christie's spokesman, Mike Druniak, released a statement late this evening calling Wildstein a tireless advocate for New Jersey's best interests at the Port Authority and expressing gratitude for his service to the people of New Jersey and the region. All that a quote. All of this ahead of Monday's scheduled assembly hearings, where the Port Authority's executive director has already been subpoenaed, along with two other officials who got notices late today. Uh, some lawmakers claim these lane closures came as something of punishment to the mayor of Fort Lee, a Democrat who refused to endorse Governor Christie for re-election. Joining us now is Senator Loretta Weinberg from Teaneck. She's been demanding answers from the Port Authority. Uh, Senator, uh, good of you to join us. What do you make of today's news and the resignation? Thank you, Mike. Well, uh, certainly it's connected, uh, connected to the... Um, issue about which we have been asking for answers, the issue of the unexplained lane closures that took place just about three months ago in the borough of Fort Lee. You know, it, it is not the incident itself uh, that has troubled me, although it, that certainly has. It is the bigger picture or the bigger view that I'm getting that if this kind of behavior is tolerated at the Port Authority, is it okay to use our infrastructure for some kind of petty political payback? Now, I've said this, I've said it time and time again, I do not believe Governor Christie called the Port Authority and asked for any roads to be closed or opened uh, in any area that the Port Authority controls. But this particular incident seems to give us a window into an environment that I find very troubling, an environment that would tolerate behavior like this. So if, in fact, uh, Mr. Wildstein is the person most directly involved and he has resigned, I think that's a good thing. Uh, and I think that we will hear the rest of the story, as an old radio announcer used to say, uh, on Monday, when uh, the executive director, Patrick Foy, and two other men have been subpoenaed and will appear before the Assembly Transportation Committee. So that's where we'll probably hear the, the whole saga of what took place here. I'm looking forward to hearing it. I'm looking forward to seeing it end. And I'm looking forward to the assurances that these kind of things are not going to be allowed to go on in any agency or in any place in the state of New Jersey. Senator, have to leave it there. Thank you so much. Senator Loretta Weinberg from her offices in Teaneck.